about 12 weeks ago, I'm at a show, right? I'm just in the back, in the green room, not much to do back there. And I'm just on, I'm on my phone, I'm on Facebook, right? I'm on that Facebook page where all the videos go out. So every so often I will go on that page. We've got people who answer the messages on there, but every so often I'll go on it and I'll just answer some messages for some people, right? And it, just as I'm on it, just so happens, this girl messages and she just goes, hi, Paul, um, just wondering, me and two of my mates watch your videos all the time, think you're really funny, and we're just wondering, if we were to travel down to a show, is there any chance of a private party after the show? Winky, winky, and I was like... Fuck off. Are they offering me a foursome? And, and I'm a married man, I, sh I know I should have said no, but I fucking never. <laughs> like, I, I wasn't gonna do nothing about it, but that's a fucking moment in a man's life, that, innit? Like, to get offered a foursome. I was like, I was looking at it, I was like, I couldn't believe it. And then a picture of them came through and they were fucking stunning, these girls, like amazing. Just fucking 10 out of 10 beautiful. I don't know why I'm lying about that. They weren't. They I don't know why I lied about that. They were two sevens and a six, but... <laughs> they, were two... <laughs> they were two sevens and a six. <laughs> they were. Not... Do you know what, though? That's still 20 out of 10, and I'm not asked. That's good. <laughs> it's better than most days. <laughs> oh. Do you know the way I reacted to being off... It's how much of a fucking child I am. It's the way I reacted to being off of the force and for the first. And probably the only time in my life was just to look at my phone and go, oh. <laughs> Honestly, one of my fucking best mates in the world sat in the green room with me. And he just looked at me and he went, what are you laughing at? I went, lad, look at that. And he went, fuck off. <laughs> they often knew a force in me. And I was like, yeah. And I expected them to joke. You know what? That's, as I said, that's a moment in a man's life. He knows I'm not going to do nothing about it. But it's a big moment. It's a happy moment. He should have jumped up and been like, ah, and just embraced me like I won the lottery or so. But nah, you know what this cunt done? He just looked at me straight away and went, it's not real, that. And I was like, ugh, what do you mean? It's not real. He went, lad, that's not real. I went, why is it not real? He went, lad, look here. <laughs> I went, fuck off. Why can't I have a force? I went, of course it's real. You think about it, you knobhead, for a second, right? Of course it's real. Think about it. Because what kind of a horrible, sick, evil, twisted, manipulative individual would set three fake profiles up just to fucking, ah, oh, it's my fucking wife, isn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. And he's laughing his head off because he knows that. And if you knew her, you'd know she's enough of a psychopath to set three fake profiles up and keep that shit going for fucking years. <laughs> years and years and years she would keep that shit going until the point where, like, they'd have, you'd be able to check their Facebook, they'd have lives and shit, they'd have fucking families, one of them would have a kid, you'd be able to see the kid growing up and that. They'd look real. And then one day I just get a little message. Oh, do you fancy a private party after the gig? And I'm like, oh, yes, please. And then a picture of my wife pops up with a knife like, I will see you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead. And I'm flapping it now. I'm like, oh, my God, what the fuck did we do here? Because as soon as I realised it was here, I could feel it. You know, like when you have an argument with your bird and you can feel how angry she is on the other end of the phone. It doesn't matter how far away, you know she's fucking fuming. Mate, that, I was just looking at it and I was like, oh, my God, she's fucking fuming here. Because we're on Facebook Messenger, right? And it's, she knows I've seen the message, right? My little stupid happy face has popped up next to the thing like that. <laughs> and it doesn't matter that I haven't said yeah. I haven't said no quick enough. And to her, well, she's just, I can feel her sitting there going, why the fuck is he considering this, the fucking rat? I'll fucking stab him when he gets home. He's getting fucking done when he gets home, the cheeky cunt. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck am I going to do here? What am I going to do here? And I'm like panicking, and I'm like, look at him, lad, what am I going to do here? And he's like, I don't know. He went, you know what, though? It's bad that she's done that, you know? And I went, what do you mean? He went, it's bad that she's done that. She should trust you. You've only just got married. That's fucking horrible that she's done that. And I was like, the one it is, it is. He went, yeah, you shouldn't take that shit off her. She's fucking trying to wind you up there, you know? Because he's a fucking prick, and he's single, and he thinks he's fucking boss, right? But he's fucking convincing, and he was like, you know what I'd do in that situation? He went, hey, you know what I'd do? I, I, I'd, if someone tried to do that to me, any bear tried to do that to me, trying to wind me up, I'd wind her up twice as hard. If she tried to fucking say that to me, I'd play back at it. And then when she fuck, when, it, when it came on top and she was kicking off on you, I'd just send her a picture of me, and you go, ah, we knew it was you, you little rat. <laughs> and I was like, that's a fucking sick idea, that. <laughs> and that's what I did. I, I did it. And I played back strong as well. I was like, yeah, I'm super game for this. When are you coming down? She was like, really? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me know the date. I'll book the Hilton. <laughs> she was like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting a brekkie in the morning. 
She was like, yeah, if you want. I was like, I'll have to be careful. I'm on my fitness pal and <laughs> She was like, are you sure you want to do this? And I was like, she's giving me an out here. Watch, watch, I can feel it. She gave me the last out and I'm not even going to take it. Watch this. And I said the most confident thing I've ever said. I was like, yes, let's have a foursome. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Who wants to go with the big fella first? <laughs> and he's laughing his head off. And I think even she must have smirked at that because she knows I haven't got a big willy and he knows I haven't got a big willy. <laughs> and I'm fucking, I'm like, oh, that, I, I, can, I see the little three dots come up to type back and I'm like, here we go, she's gonna kick off here. It's gonna be a picture of her with a fucking knife or something. Or it's gonna be your fucking rat, never come back to this house, blah. I can imagine the messages that are gonna come back, right? But none of those messages came back. I'm gonna tell you the message that came back word for word verbatim, right? And this shocked me because what it was was, right? <laughs> well, giggle, giggle, face emoji. I kind of wanted to go first because it was my idea and I think you're really funny. But my mate does love it up the arse if you're into that. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, when I saw that I was like, whoa. <laughs> She's taking this banter a bit far, yeah. And I was like, oh my God. And I got a fucking sinking feeling in my stomach. I was like, oh my God, I might have fucked up here. Mm, shit. Um, so I, I messaged back and I was like, um, excuse me. Are, are you real? And she went, what? I went, ah, you a real person. She went, what are you talking about? I said, ah, you my wife. And she went, what are you talking about? Of course I'm not your wife. I went, yeah, but, but are, you, are you a real person? And then a picture of her came through and I was like, fuck off. That's not you. And she went, of course it's me. I went, if that's you right now, prove it to me. Send me a picture of you right now with two fingers up. Not like two fingers up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Mate, I wish I would have, though, because she fucking would have done it. This girl was fucking insane, mate. Immediately, right, a picture of this girl comes back and she's like that, and I'm like, oh my god, and then a picture of a mate like that, and then a picture of another mate. All three in a line. <laughs> fucking bear duck pout going on. That wasn't even the worst bit. Then, in a bar, right, not even in a house, in a bar in real life with real people behind her in the background and shit. Hey, right, absolutely no shame. Just doing this, right, going. Just pulling the top down, right? With two fingers, full nipple, full tit out, right? And I was like, oh my fucking God. I have never been more unhappy to see a tit in my fucking life, mate. I absolutely shit myself. I was like, oh, I fucked up bad here. Oh no. Oh my God, I fucked up so bad. This is so bad. Oh my God. Because I haven't said, I, sh I, I should have said no straight away, but I never, but beyond that, now I've been Billy Big Bollocks. I'm like, who wants to go with the big fella first? And now if my wife ever sees this shit, I am fucking dead, mate. I'm dead. It doesn't matter. I haven't shagged them. I've, it's worse, do you know what I mean? I'm fucking, I'm panicking now. And I'm like, oh my God. Honestly, it was so bad. I just nearly threw my phone out of the window and just started a new life. That was it, I was gone. I was giving all this shit up. I wasn't asked. I was off to Brazil, mate. And that is a big move for a ginger man, that, you know. And I'm looking at me mates, I'm like, lad, what the fuck am I going to do here? You're going to have to come, lad, we're going to have to go with me bed now and just and, and tell her about this shit because you've been here the whole time. Like, you're going to have to back me up, we're going to have to save you, you've been here the whole time. Like, I didn't even have a wank over this, did I? Like, you're going to have to back me He looked just as shocked as me, he's just stood there, he went, no, eh, lad, lad, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, right? I've been here the whole time, but I, I don't really want to get involved. I was like, what? He went, I, 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 I went, it was your fucking idea. He went, lad, lad I know, but um, I, I didn't think it was going to go this way. And I'll be honest with you, your bird scares the fuck out of me. And I was like, fuck. So I did the only thing I could. I did the only thing I could, right? The only thing I could do was play, but I, I had to try and salvage the situation. The only thing I could do was message the girl back and go, listen, I'm dead sorry about this, but I, we, I'm sat here with me mate. We thought this was someone winding us up. I thought it was a joke. I thought you weren't being serious. Now I realize you're being serious. I can't do nothing about this. I'm going to tell you, I've got a wife and kids and all that. I can't do nothing about it. And she was like, what do you mean? I said, I can't do nothing about it. She said, why? I said, I've just said I've got a wife. She went, so? 
she was like, she's not going to be there. How will she know? I was like, she'll fucking know, mate. <laughs> she'll fucking know. My wife would know immediately because she won't have ever seen me that happy. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but any man, know, any man in here knows deep down, if you came in after a fucking foursome to any woman you've been with for any length of time, it would be less than 15 seconds of you walking through that door before she was like, oh, are you, baby? You're like, what the fuck have you been doing? <laughs> As you skip through the door, like, I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. Fucking sparrows taking your coat off and hanging it up in there. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Absolutely no way in the world I'm getting away with that shit. I can barely lie about having a fucking burger on the side. It's fucking not happening, mate. <laughs> I was like, listen, I can't. Like, this girl went berserk. She went fucking berserk at me. Like, I was cheating on her. I've never known anyone like this in my life. She was like, what do you mean you can't? You fucking prick. I went, what? She went, you're a fucking prick. I said, why? She went, what kind of a man? What kind of a man doesn't want three girls to suck his dick? I mean, it's a fucking good question. <laughs> it, 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 it is. I mean, any man in here, I don't give a fuck. If you're with your bed and you sat there going, nah, I'll just say, no, nah. yeah, you know deep down that's a fucking good question. You'd want to say, I don't, like, all the best intentions in the world, there'll be, you know that little impulse control voice that wakes up in the back of your head and tells you to have Maltesers at half 11? You think he's bad on Maltesers? Try offering him three girls sucking your dick. That cunt goes into fucking overdrive, mate. He's off as fuck. He, he, on, he's like, whoa, 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 hang on. Three girls gonna suck our dick. Let's have a little think about this, mate. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. We, we need to have a good talk about this. We never have a little coffee and a little chat about this. Let's have a little think. You're like, fuck off. He's like, no, no, no. I don't know where. He's clever as fuck. I don't know where he gets this shit from. He knows maths. He's got statistics and shit. He comes at you with fucking full presentations. He's a fucking genius, mate. He starts coming at you with shit like, hey, you know statistically it would be easier for you to start a new family than get this opportunity again. <laughs> and I had no idea about that, but I've Googled it since, and he is absolutely fucking correct. <laughs> but I stayed strong, and I was like, nah, I can't do it. And she was like, you're a fucking knobhead. She went, fucking give me loads of shit. She wouldn't let it go either. Every couple of days, I just had to stop answering her. And every couple of days, she'd be like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't sure. I wanted to be sure, but I wasn't sure. For a good two weeks, I was walking through life. Like, I, I, I just didn't know what to do. I was like, what the fuck have I done? What the fuck have I done? I felt like I'd won the lottery and just ripped the ticket up and threw it in the bin. <laughs> and now I'm just trying to convince myself I don't need money. <laughs> but now, I'm about 12 weeks on now, right? I'm going to tell you where I am. And a lot of people in here, you're going to disagree with me on the surface of this, but I promise you, I've thought about this a lot for 12 weeks, and I, 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 allow me to present my argument, right? I don't think that a foursome would be as good in reality as the fantasy of a foursome is, and I will tell you why. Like, if you see foursome in porn, and it looks incredible, but I don't think it'd be as good in life, especially for me, because yeah, here's where I'm at now. I'm 37 years of age, right? I, I, I've never had a threesome, so, right? My, my peak level of experience is a twosome, and that's not even me now. That's me, peak, peak shagging years, 21 to 25. The best I did was a twosome, right? I've been with her for nine and a half years. I've been on a onesome for nine and a half years. I'm fucking good at a onesome, mate. I'll take, on, I'll take part in the fucking wanking world championships, mate. I am fucking fire at giving me a wank. I challenge anyone in this room to give me a better wank than I can give me. You can't do it. You can't. I've got fucking different grips and shit. I know exactly what I'm doing, mate. I can have a wank in a fucking cupboard, mate. I can have a silent wank. I can have a loud wank. I can have an imagination wank. I can have a porn wank. I'm fucking class. But I can't go from that fucking skilled onesome to the very occasional twosome when it's legally binding. 
I can't jump from that to a foursome with three young... I just can't... That's, that's a leap, that. That's a fucking... That's going up a few leagues, that. I should have to do at least a threesome first and guess, you know what? Do the threesome. And then someone comes in the head and gives you some kind of badge and goes, you know what? You passed that threesome to an adequate standard. <laughs> Everybody was satisfied. We're going to send another lady in, see how you get on. Because <laughs> you, know you know what gets me about a foursome is, right, is where the fuck does everyone go? Where does everyone go? And not only that, where do you go as a man? Where do you go as a man? Dave. <laughs> Pack me up on this, mate. And it's not, a, again, another little quiz for you. It's not a hard one. Have a little check if you want. How many willies have you got? <laughs> Only got one willie, haven't you, mate? Only got one willie. And Dave knows, mate, when you're having a twosome, limited number of options for that willie. Not much choice there. It's very easy, do you know what I mean? But you got to imagine, right? Imagine this, Dave, right? You get offered a foursome by three girls online, unsolicited. You got to imagine, not much fucking, not, not many boundaries there. So what are, you, what are you looking at there, Dave? You're looking at like three, you're looking at six. You're looking at nine holes, Dave? <laughs> nine holes, Dave? That's like fucking half a golf course, Dave. <laughs> yes, I just made beer come out of Dave's nose. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's the fucking pinnacle, that Dave, you know. That's a fucking KO finish in my game now. <laughs> oh. Logistically as well, like where the fuck is, where, where, like where is everyone? Where is everyone situated? Like bodies in the room, right? There's only two ways this plays out and I've seen, I, I've thought this a lot, right? Way number one is that it's some kind of a cue system whereby you're working on one ear, right? You got one ear waiting to get on, but then the other one's gotta be off making a fucking brew or something, she? Because what's she doing? You're not going to be fair that that queue just stood there going. <laughs> but realistically, if you think about it, that's not even a foursome. Technically, that's three successive twosomes dead quick. So, for it to be a foursome, everyone's going to have to be in the game at the same time. Everybody's going to have to be in the game at the same time. I want you to think about that for a second. Men in the room, I want you to think about that for a second. Every man in here who's ever thought to force me, boss, think about that pressure for a second. We've all been there. But every man who's had sex with a girl for the first time, ladies, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, right? The first time you've had sex with any man, I'm going to pretty much 95% guarantee he hasn't enjoyed it. And I will tell you why. It's because that's not his normal sex. It's not his normal sex. That is 100% full cardio, holding nothing back, fucking audition sex, mate. It is. That shit is a fucking job interview. <laughs> He's not there to enjoy himself. He's there to do a good enough job so you let him do that shit again. <laughs> and I'll prove it to you. Think about it, right? Think about it right now. It's Saturday now. Think about the sex you're going to have in the morning when you wake up tomorrow morning with your fella. Like, you're going to have that lazy fucking lying on the side, fucking eyes are closed. Like, <sighs> if you're dead lucky, you'll get a little... <laughs> No one ever goes there, move one. No one's ever gone there on a fit. That's never been the first sexual position any, any cunt's ever done. No one's ever been like, first, they just lying down, going like, oh, just lie down there, babe. Oh. <laughs> nah, I mean, fucking first date sex is like, fucking, you get them and you're like, fuck, the legs are on your shoulders and shit, you're pile driving in. For some reason, I don't know why this is, but she ends up on the end of the bed and she's bent over and she looks incredible and you get behind and you put it in you're like, oh my God, this is fucking incredible, right? And as soon as you put it in, you start going and you start rotating your hips and the moment you rotate your hips, you realise, why the fuck am I doing this? <laughs> because not a man on the planet, I don't give a fuck how well trained you are, that can maintain this motion. There's not a thing in the gym you can do to train this. There's not one, there's not a, there's, look, you'll know, you've been, tell me what machine does this. Tell me what machine does this. I don't give a fuck how strong you are. You can't do this. You know as soon as you start doing this, your quads start burning, your hammies start burning. Immediately though, your ass kills, your lower back just seizes up completely like, what the fuck, oh no, oh no. And you're trying not to sweat on her back and shit. And you don't want to look like a pussy, so you're just like, oh, ah. Oh. And then she's like, are you right? And you're like, oh yeah, baby, your pussy's so tight. Ooh, ooh, 
Mm. Oh, and you didn't get it. You're like, oh my god, this is hurting so much. I can't stop though. I look stupid. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> and I want, you, <laughs> I want you to add to all that, all that physical pressure, add the added mental pressure. I'm just even trying to understand what's going on with here because men. Very simple creatures. When you get a man in bed, there's, there's a simple guidebook to us. When we're happy, we are happy, and when we come, we come. <laughs> but women, there's no fucking rhyme or reason to you nubbeds at all. There's none. You don't know what the fuck you're getting. It doesn't matter what you're like in real life. It doesn't matter. Like, you could be the loudest, brassiest, most outspoken woman in the world, and you get her in bed, and you're there, and you're smashing away, and you're like, fucking hell. You're giving a full fucking rotation, and you're like, oh, 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 and you're smacking her ass and shit. You're like, oh, my God. And part of you feels like she's dead. <laughs> she's doing fuck all. You keep sliding your hand up her back just to feel a heartbeat. Then after about half an hour of that fucking agony, you're like, oh, and she's just like, oh. And you're like. What the fuck was that? And she's like, oh. Oh, that was amazing. You're like. Are you sure? Honestly, I nearly found the ambulance twice then, you know. But conversely, you get the quietest little, tiny little field mouse librarian fucking woman in bed. And you're there and she's such a gentle little creature, you don't even, you're like, oh, you okay? Oh, don't, you don't even want to put pressure on you. are like, oh. And you put the tip of your dick in and she goes fucking berserk. She's like, ah! 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 She's like scratching you and shit. She just clamps you with her legs and she's the strongest motherfucker you've ever felt in your life. You're like, oh my God, what the fuck are you doing? Ah! And she's fucking squirting everywhere. And she's like, poof, poof, poof. And that's piss as well, you can fuck off with that. <laughs> it's piss. Stop acting like it's sexy, it's not, it's piss. Oh, I'm a squirter, oh nice one, you pissed on me mattress sound. No, no, I can't turn it over. It's fucking memory foam, mate. It's a fucking Simba mattress, that, mate. I had a 100 nights free trial, and now I can't send it back because it stinks of your piss. <laughs> oh, but I, I, I'm a squirter. I don't, if, you, if you know you're going to do that, put a fucking nappy on, mate. Put a fucking towel down or something. See, see there? You're in your position. You're giving a full fucking rotations and shit. You're in fucking agony. You're smashing away as hard as you can. Your fucking quads are burning. Your hammies are burning. Your glutes are fucked. Your lower back's fucking dead. You're just, you're trying not to sweat on the back and shit. Your, your heart rate's 217. Your lungs are burning. You're out of breath. You're like, <gasps> and then to the point where you just give up. And that's when you come. And another little secret for you, ladies. The first time you hear your man come is the loudest you'll ever hear him come. And it's not because it's the best sex he's ever had, it's because he's so fucking relieved that it's over. <laughs> he is so fucking relieved that it's over, that he's just like, oh, oh. And you're like, oh my God, he must have fucking loved that in his head. He's like, oh my God, I've got a hernia. <laughs> oh, I've got a hernia. Oh yeah, babe, it was amazing, your pussy's so good. Oh, fuck, you need to go, though, you need to go. <laughs> now, we've all been there. Now, fellas, I want you to imagine for a second, you've all been in that situation, you've all been in that situation, a pure relief, when you come and you never want to see a pussy again in your fucking life. Your willy's sore and shit, you're just in agony, you just want her to go, you just want to sit and just do nothing for a bit and just have a little cry. And I want you to imagine, in that situation of that pure release, you just look across and you see a girl and you're just like, fucking hell, I've got to do you in a minute. <laughs> And then I've got to do you. <laughs> nah, nah, mate. That can't be, that can't, that's what a force means. You're going to have to be there going, oh, oh. 
Oh my god. Ah, oh, sh oh shit. You're gonna have to come back in half an hour, girl. And I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, you might as well come back tomorrow because I, I, I'm fucking 37, I haven't got three shots in me, there's fucking no chance. And there'll be fellas in here now, like, like there'll be fellas in here now, like, well, like, you know what, like, fucking, like, the, like, you just use your hands, you know what I mean, just use your hands and all that. Like, nah, think about that for a second. Don't give a fuck how skilled you think you are at, with the old finger game. There's not a man on, I, you know what, finding a woman's clitoris, not the challenge they all make it out to be, it's always in the same place. <laughs> Don't know where that fucking myth has come from, it's not that hard. But, finding two rogue clitori. <laughs> it's a fucking good word, that, isn't it? Finding two rogue clitori in dim light, whilst in pain and motion, <laughs> with your peripheral vision. There's not a man on the planet who could do that. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck if you're an Olympian or a fucking concert pianist. There's not a man on the planet who's just going to be here like that. I'll just be like... <laughs> nah. It's like the hardest game of whack-a-mole ever. <laughs> so I'm glad I never did it. But it's, way, it's ruined my life a little bit because it's weighing on me. All these lies are weighing on me, man. And it's, just, it's changing my behaviours a little bit, you know what I mean? I, I had a quite a nice life and stuff like that. I had my kids and stuff in the day. I'm staying home, Dan. She goes out to work and she comes back in. I've got them at three. She comes back in at five. The house is a bit messy. In there. And normally she'd come in and she'd be like, why haven't you done the dishes? Oh, baby, could have done the dishes. And like, she'll moan about stuff. She's stressed out, I understand it. And I'll normally just tidy around. I'll even make the tea and that. But now, since that's happened, it's just changed my perspective a little bit. And she doesn't even know why, but she'll come in now and she'll be like, <sighs> Oh, babe, you could have done the dishes, and I'll be like, fuck off, you rat. <laughs> Have you got any idea where I could be right now? <laughs> Have you got any idea of the fucking sacrifices I've made for this family?